morning guys welcome back to New Zealand now this morning I've got an early job I'm working so I've got an early job this morning in Waipukuro which is probably 35 minutes 40 minutes away from where I'm based uh, it's the half it's a half marathon or a full marathon I'm not sure I'll have to check that out it's either full or half anyway it's a lot of running basically so anyway I thought well I'm up early I might as well get up extra early head down the track a little bit and uh, take some photographs on my way to work sunrise dawn I did set off early unfortunately dawn didn't really produce much there's a big bank of cloud on the horizon there and uh, so I just I just carried on driving I couldn't find a location anyway and I, I, just a spur of the moment thing it just wasn't working uh, I got to wipe it out had a coffee saw the a, a break in the cloud we're going to get some big breaks of the cloud, but I saw a bit of a break in the cloud on the horizon there as the sun was coming up. And I thought, just keep pushing on, we might get a little bit of light. Find some trees, and we should be good. I saw a, uh, a rainbow starting to develop. We've got a lot of cloud out towards the mountains. A bit of a rush to find a, a stand of trees that would look nice once the sun hit it with the moody skies behind. These are my preferred ideal conditions. I just love these conditions. You know, you've got your sunrise in there or your sun going down whichever way you are and then you've got some seriously seriously moody clouds behind storm, storm clouds behind I just love it I'll just wait till this car goes by so the conditions really worked in my favour I found a stand of trees like I say and the rainbow just added to it and it's just the rainbow sort of sweeping across the top of the trees I just love it absolutely stunning and this this is anybody any budding landscape photographers out there the importance of light it, it's just it's everything you know you, you get a you get a scene and it's okay you get the light on that particular scene it transforms it absolutely transforms it. it's stunning absolutely beautiful uh, the rain started to come down now guys so I'm gonna get in the car and uh, get a bit of shelter and we'll carry on all right guys so that wee bit of a wee bit of rain has passed, wasn't much, a couple of, couple of spots. Sun's, it's quite milky at the minute, uh, there's quite a big bank of cloud there and uh, we've just got the light coming through a little bit, but I'm not bothered, I've, I've got what I needed to get. Uh, you can see probably behind me, just a little bit of light coming through onto the trees behind, what a difference even that makes. Uh, so the, like I said, light, absolutely everything. Now. I dropped on lucky today, but you make your own luck. I sort of put myself, I put myself in a position where I would, I'd be there if anything happened. Dawn didn't happen, sunrise didn't happen. Half an hour after sunrise, the conditions changed dramatically. Slither of light, amazing clouds behind, amazing, absolutely amazing sky. So black and moody, beautiful. And then obviously this, the rainbow just kicked off and, and it, it just, yeah, just made a, a really nice shot for me. Really, really enjoyed that one. Settings wise, I, sh I shot the scene on the little Fuji X100F, which is my, it, it's my favourite camera. I just absolutely, I adore it. Settings wise, ISO 100, F8, 175th of the second. And I put the, I put the polarizer on as well. Uh, and the polarizer, I just kept turning the polarizer a little bit. And you could see what a difference it was making to the rainbow. It was absolutely, it just made it really intense, which uh, which I appreciated that today. It was really good. I'm quite amazed how much of a difference the polarizer made actually. Uh, I've been holding off buying a polarizer, any sort of filters to be honest. I mean, I've had the circular 10 stop filter for a long time, but the filter system, it, it's making a lot of difference. So I put, I had the polarizer on, I kept turning that until I got really a lot of intensity on the rainbow. And then I uh, added a 0.9 soft grad just to bring down the sky just that extra little bit. And uh, I'm, I'm well impressed with the result. Absolutely chuffed to bits with it. Chuffed to bits with the results. I really am. Uh, so guys, that's the takeaway from this one. It's just a real, real quick, quick opportunistic video. Amazingly opportunistic shot. I mean, the chances of, of that sky, that bit of light, that rainbow. <laughs> What can he say? Happy bunny, happy bunny. And it's not even, what time is it? It's not even 7.30 yet, a.m. Uh, so we're in for a good day, I reckon. I've got my marathon to shoot. 
shortly that I'm going to the motocross and then I've got a couple of other jobs back in sort of Napier way, Hastings way. Uh, all in all, it's going to be a cracking day. Listen guys, I hope you've enjoyed this. I've, it's been a real quick one, like I say, uh, but the takeaway, light, absolutely everything. I've taken a shot, just all, all the shots I took because I, I really didn't have time to get the, the tripod out. And in fairness, to be honest with you, I forgot the tripod, I left it back in the bloody van. So, handheld the shots and this little Fuji, she's rock solid, love it to bits. I took a couple of shots after the light had gone, just to show you the difference. You know, you've, you've got the, the absolutely drab, bland, boring as hell shot, and then you bang the light in there. Wow, what a difference. Guys, light, it's everything. Kakiteano.